सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू एच वी थ्री एंड इन यू एच वी थ्री वी वर टॉकिंग ऑन लेक्चर फोर्टीन अबाउट द हायर एक्टिविटीज गाइडिंग द लोअर एक्टिविटीज सो जस्ट टू रिकैप ब्रीफली we can go back to the slide for the basis for comparing okay this will also do yeah so when we don't have guidance from the higher activities when we haven't awakened to the higher activities we said that our basis for thoughts for analyzing comparing is largely driven by the outside largely driven by preconditioning largely driven by sensation so what that means is that our thoughts are driven by what is appealing to my senses for example so i may be you know doing whatever activity but my focus is largely on what i'm going to eat how tasty it is and so on so i could be you know say going for a face to face workshop and talking about human values but you know while doing that also my thoughts may be on you know what kind of food are we going to eat and what is the provision they have made and is there going to be some sweet after the food and those kind of things so my focus is on what is appealing to the senses or supposing i go for some good work i go for giving a lecture on say human values or something else uh something technical but when i go to the institute my thoughts are on i hope they have ac because it's so hot outside i don't want to be in a hot place and i hope that they have at least cooler if not ac but they should have ac and those kind of ideas that what is appealing to my senses my thoughts are largely for that or if somebody calls me for an interview or a like a say i am doing well and people want to ask me to come give a lecture then my focus is on you know am i going to are you going to what kind of car are you going to send for me to travel in what kind of place will you make me stay is it a five star place or not and those kind of issues now what is comfortable what is appealing to the senses like i can give an example of you know when we were um in the us as foreign graduates medical graduates and working for um or applying for the residency program for doing post graduation in the us so the foreign graduates i suppose because of the hardships they have seen or because the focus is on the work or you know it is a learning process so what I, where i can learn the best that becomes the focus no so uh, an institution where there is um there are large number of patients and 
you will get to learn a lot of course that means you will have to work a lot also but that means also that you will learn a lot because this is a learning period of 2 years 3 years so i largely you know our focus would be there but we also saw there were a few american graduates perhaps they had had a more comfortable living or you know when asked about when um the interviews were going on about the place and deciding on the residents deciding on the place and the institution deciding on taking those residents so many of the residents who came from american schools medical schools their question would be in the residency program how long is the average day when do i get to go home in the call room is there a shower is there a tv you see where the focus is i'm just giving an example how your thoughts will go towards what is appealing to the senses rather than what is the actual purpose no similarly your thoughts may go for you know when it comes to the health of the body on that obsession for indulgence in the resources to try to get to be healthy to have a healthy body so first of all the health of the body may just be as a means to enjoy the senses so that may be the focus the focus may also be fear so supposing i think that i am the body which largely is the case then i have this fear that if something happens to the body then i am gone finished so i want to avoid that situation therefore i do all kinds of things i go to doctors i get all the tests done i get admitted in the hospital and so on so i hand over the responsibility of the body to somebody else let them take care so that i can enjoy good health so i am over utilizing the resources you know for the health of the body and when it comes to the physical facility the money the wealth the you know rather than you seeing it as something that is required for the body to take care of the body i see it as a means of again luxurious living how i can have more and more and more so that is where all our thoughts are what is most profitable when it comes to applying for a job i see which has the maximum um salary and i go for that so my whole basis of thinking is like this but as we take guidance from the higher activities you know as we awaken to the higher activities we awaken to contemplation we see our relationship we see our role in the relationship we awaken to understanding we see the harmony in every unit and so we want to be in harmony with every unit and we awaken to realization we awaken to coexistence so we see the basis for all this and we get determined to be in line with all of this and be one with the existence be a part of it be in coexistence rather than trying to be more prominent or gain you know recognition all the time or being driven by competition and so on 
So now the thoughts get guided. So how are the thoughts guided? So now when I think of, you know, um, say the same issues, the same kind of jobs. So if I am going for higher studies, my focus is on the purpose. Why I am going for the higher studies? To gain maximum knowledge of the subject, to gain the skill. So I will choose to go to a place where I can learn the maximum. My senses will be guided by the purpose. So if I am looking at food, rather than only looking at taste, yes, taste is there, I can still enjoy the taste, but my focus will be on the purpose of the food. So what food is doing for the body is, it should be nurturing for the body. It should be something that is, you know, energizing or helping to make the body function well. So I will, you know, avoid foods that are, say, spicy, fried, oily foods. And I will rather choose uh, food, you know, more in the natural form, say fruits, vegetables, those kind of things. And my concern will be with having um, something that is tasty also and nurturing for the body so that when I eat the food I am able to stay alert and function rather than I eat the food, feel drowsy and fall asleep. Similarly, I will see my relationship with every unit. So I will eat foods that are not, um, you know, causing harm to another unit. As far as possible, I will make choices based on that. So like this, my thoughts are guided. I am guided by coexistence. I am guided by harmony. I am guided by justice in relationship. And so all my senses, even when it comes to health, you know, my focus is on what is my role in my relationship with the body. So rather than just going out for more and more resources, I see what I can do, how I can, you know, take care of my intake, my routine, take care of exercise so that the body stays fit. So I take responsibility for that. So now my thoughts are driven by all this. Rather than just profit at any cost, I start looking at, you know, not only, you know, when I work with nature, mutual enrichment, not just taking from nature without trying to, you know, enrich nature, but also when it comes to other human beings, am I, say if I have a business, then am I making profit at the cost of cutting the salary of the, of the employees or am I taking care of the employees well, taking on the responsibility of making sure that their salaries are properly paid and, you know, those kind of things. So I will, my thoughts will be driven by all these higher activities. So that is the difference that can happen. And then we spoke of, at the level of selecting tasting, the lower activity of selecting tasting. And we said that when we are, you know, selecting, tasting, 
without the guidance of the higher activities, then largely the selection is based on the looks, uh, what is appealing to the senses, that sort of thing. So when it comes to the looks also, it is appealing to the eyes, what it looks like. So my focus may be on the form. So, say I have to buy a phone, I may be just, my focus may be on what kind of phone looks good or at most, you know, which phone has, say, some other functions like has a very good camera or things like that, rather than looking at the purpose of the phone what I need to use it for, for the communication, and therefore what kind of phone I could use, and so on. So this kind of, you know, sensation-based selecting tasting keeps happening. And this is because inside me, I have not awakened to the higher activities, I'm not able to see, you know, I'm not able to have, ensure the right feeling within me. So I am not having that experience of happiness within. Therefore, I'm constantly looking for happiness outside. And it is bound to be that way. And therefore, we keep looking for ways of having pleasure from the outside. All this changes when we have um, awakening to the higher activities. And we'll come to that. But meanwhile, we had asked for some something to reflect on. We had uh, asked you to We had asked you to look at, you know, how you, you know, reflect on your thoughts about the physical facility that you already have. You know? Do you think you have enough? Or are you looking for more? The thoughts on the health of the body. How is it for us? Are we living in fear that something bad will happen to the body and therefore what can be done? Or are we living with responsibility, with the feeling of self-regulation, taking care of the health of the body? All this we can try to see within ourselves. Do we think about our purpose as a human being? Or are we living life based on whatever comes before us, you know, the outside incidences and just making do, looking largely outside. So where is our focus? A little bit about that, if we can um, have from all of you, um, your observations about this, then we'll take that. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Uh, madam, I uh, thought on all my reasoning and uh, I have rather physical facilities. I have enough physical facilities on, on the country. At this stage, I am trying to share with others, number one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Concentrating, yes. yeah, uh, whatever little I can do with my family members or uh, students or colleagues I, I have in last one year i started sharing with them whatever nice. i have surplus i am sharing with them simple example sometimes you have a, a good bag from the seminar and you you use at least one only you're not going to use three four bags so i share it to uh, my colleagues that is one second uh, uh, as far as the physical facilities enough i give credit to yhv3 
i am uh, of course it's very personal but i don't hesitate to discuss this uh, i was about to buy a house but when i realized that already when i have a house why i should go for second it's, it it would consume lot of stress and uh, resources so that is another reasoning and i am concentrating on my health i have stuck to the schedule of going to gym once in a week i am trying to increase to twice a week daily walk twice so if i am if i am healthy i am going to uh, contribute to the society that is what i think so uh, this is uh, uh, this is all about i would like to share at this stage at when more thoughts i'll share at a later day, a stage thank you madam very nice. very nice so see how much difference it can make when we are working towards awakening to the higher activities nice thank you thank you madam namaskar madam namaskar to all namaste uh, regarding uh, the role of reading sensations yesterday i shared Mm -hmm. and uh, in continuation to the yesterday sharing as you gave in the assignment for today uh, reflect on my thoughts uh, what i am what my what are my thoughts regarding uh, uh, the physical facility i already have mm -hmm. regarding some physical facilities uh, what i observe madam i feel prosperous but regarding some still i am not feeling really prosperous i want uh, some more that is my uh, observation uh, mm -hmm. and regarding uh, health of the body uh some foods regarding some foods uh, uh, maximum foods madam regarding health uh, uh i feel whether it uh, nurtures my body or whether it protects uh, in that aspect only maximum i am practicing so i am ha taking happily also mm -hmm. and uh, but regarding uh, the health of the body uh, my personal uh, uh, issue my missus uh, has been uh, suffering uh, from the past few days uh, regarding one uh, disease uh, regarding that uh, i know that doctors whatever they can they do even then madam uh, in one corner i have a fear something may happen to her like that i have even that that regarding health of the body and what are uh, your thoughts on the purpose of a human being uh, the purpose of a human being is to be in harmony uh with all the four orders uh, that i have been trying madam and i have been uh, saying uh, uh, improvement also so these are my observations madam yeah so you notice that you know where we need to work on yeah yeah the things that we have to work on where we are you know like if we have a fear why do we have a fear hmm is a fear no yes madam lack of right understanding huh lack of uh, right understanding definitely yeah. so um you can reflect on you know for yourself whatever choices you're making whatever you're thinking mm -hmm. always go back to what is the purpose yeah so why i am thinking a certain way that will give you a clue to you know where your focus is mm. huh? really ha huh. so then how it would be what is naturally acceptable to you mm. uh, purpose that if you see then that becomes your guide slowly that starts changing yes, that becomes more and more of your guide as you keep referring to your natural acceptance but for that you have to ask the question of purpose if you just have random thoughts and you want to say you know which one is naturally acceptable it will be tough for you to try to make out but when you mm. have these thoughts why you are thinking this way if you ask yourself this question you know or mm. if you ask yourself this question of what is the purpose then you can refer to the natural acceptance or if you look at your feeling you know with mm. the desire there is always some feeling if you can become aware of the feeling and then refer to your natural acceptance there also you will be able to get the guidance from there mm, yes madam yeah? feeling like the... simple thing simple thing like uh, for a mother no yeah, madam now she cooks for the whole family mm. it's not for herself yeah her focus is not only on taste you know her focus is on health of the body sometimes mm. she cooks for 
you know, different people based on their different needs. <coughs> so there may be an elder person in the house who requires you know, slightly different kind of food, maybe soft food that is easy to chew. She may be making some khichdi for that person. She may be making something for a small child who cannot eat the regular food. She may be making something for herself and her husband and the older children. Like that, you will find that she is catering to everybody's needs. So she is able to see the relationship. She is able to see her role in that whole, you know, family. In the family. And then when it comes to, you know, going for the senses, tasting and all of that, she tastes the food when she is cooking so that it is tasty for everybody in the house. Yes, madam. And when it comes to the child, a lot of times the mother will feed the child first. Really? Yeah. So even if it's getting late, whatever it is, she will feed the child first. Then she will eat. Because here, relationship has taken predominance. Mm. That is guiding the senses. So like that, you will notice, you know, these kind of things. And so each time we are also making choices, we can see where our focus is. Outside, we may do whatever. But what is driving our thoughts? So I may be restricting myself from taking food outside, you know, when I go to some party or something. Mm. I do, you know, I am wearing these kind of clothes. I have a certain image. People think of me a certain way. So I eat only some kinds of foods in their presence. Mm -hmm. But what is going on in my thoughts? When I can go back and have what I really enjoy having or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may not be like this. <laughs> giving some examples so that yeah, yeah, madam. relate to it. No? Yeah. You can see the difference. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. This has been audible. Very good morning. Good morning. Yes, you're audible. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, in the, uh, when we talk about with respect to the physical facilities and when we talk about with respect to the happiness or with the respect to the sensitization, we are at the stage of micro label within the family, within the colleague. Why we are not at the level of the macro label means when the where the need has been required, when the support where the support has been required. Why we are not as a good faculty? Why we are not able to deliver that thing so that we can get a maximum happiness? We can get a maximum pleasure from there. For an example, if we are supporting our colleague. If we are supporting our family, that is our duty. But if we are supporting to the other people who really need it, I think that will be the more advantageous to the society, to the nation. And as a good uh, faculty, I think it will be stand out. So what are you suggesting? Means if we have got a surplus, if we can support those surplus things, to the needy people all across India, if we are traveling and we find that somebody is not having or somebody has been deprived of, if we deliver that thing to that person. Certainly, the... certainly. Yes, so true. You know, when you will only share when you feel you have enough. No? Yes. If I feel I don't have enough, then I don't do any sharing. That huh, is means, means we are curtailing ourselves, means... Uh, if something we have got, we are limiting ourselves. But why we are not donating that thing to the needy people? I ah, think that is... a lot of times we want to hold on to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yes. Isn't it? Like yes. I may have some I may have some trunks, suitcases that I'm not yes. using. But huh. I you know, okay, you put aside one for your use when you travel and all. But if yes. you have several and you are holding on to them that maybe someday I will need more. Yes. But you are not willing to give it because somewhere you think that, you know, one is you don't see the relationship with the other. Or we can, um, we can, uh, we can change our routine also. Once in a week, we can just roll on to the, some orphanage or some uh, 
uh, poor areas of the city and over there we can go and donate our extra thing so i think that physical facility can support those families also and we oh, can yes. get maximum happiness from to us also and maximum happiness to those people also yeah i won't say that it can lead to happiness for long because physical facility will lead to some temporary happiness ideally what would work the best for long term happiness is understanding so if we can give the gift of understanding you know not that you can make another person understand but if you can make that effort to help the other understand then you are working in that direction that you want to i mean if you look at this whole uhv purpose huh. or you know how it is working it is huh. for this uh, uh, you know trying to the gift of trans transforming the things from our side and giving a pleasure to the other also those who need it if i am not wrong yeah, more than pleasure i would say gift of understanding pleasure yes. will not last long no yes uh, yes yeah yeah nice yes and we will so, get a maximum natural acceptance also from that particular people also well natural acceptance we already have no yes natural acceptance we have we have a natural acceptance for that and if we take guidance from that we will see this is what we really want to do yes actually you know because it gives us lot of happiness because i would like to shall i quote one example yes please uh i don't uh, we had somebody expired in our family and uh, we literally decided to do all those pujas also we did all those pujas also at the last ritual and literally we thought that let's roll on to the some orphanage and talk to those orphanage people what actually those people need and mm. literally they said that yes they want these 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 things then in the family we came back and we discussed and one day we decided that we will prepare all these things and we will purchase also and we will go and donate them then on that day when we went over there everybody got those things what they wanted it and we also had the happiness and those people also had the happiness so can we say that some natural acceptance was been there see natural acceptance is already there what is natural acceptance it is your you know when you uh, look within there is a pure part within you which is always guiding you that is your natural acceptance that is already there in you in others in everybody so whether we take guidance from that or not that is the question so yes you can see that you know first of all you may be seeing your relationship with those people that they also need something you know physical facility is required for them and i have more than sufficient so i can share with them so two things you know would be required for me to share one is that i feel i have sufficient yes and the other is i am seeing my relationship yes sometimes if the relationship predominates then i may not even see if i have enough but i may may give to the other like you see the example of we keep giving examples of mothers and children yes so the yes. mother to give to the child even if she doesn't have enough for herself but in that yes i am sorry to disturb you but in that case we are limiting within the family no no i am giving an example of the family it doesn't have to be within the family see everybody cannot see beyond the family right now okay. because we see our relationship starting with it starting in the beginning we are only seeing with the family but i am not saying it has to limit within the family ha huh, yes i am giving example of family because within the family everybody has seen these examples in their homes so they can yes. relate to it but yes. if i see my relationship with others you know in orphanages in people on the street everybody then of course i will share with all of them also yes yes you are right ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you thank you and uh, actually uh, um, what i have to um, uh, uh, say is about my health mm -hmm. the the understanding about my health Uh, usually, I, I used to be uh, um, afraid of my health. 
uh, so what i have seen with my parents also they used to be worried a lot about their health and they used to uh, uh, save lot of money for their health so mm -hmm. for, uh, fearing that uh, they will get this disease in future and they may, and, uh, and this hospitals may charge a lot but i uh, have um, uh, after this course uhv i have a confidence on my health and then i have uh, i have a confidence that i can i can through the my, the my diet or the routine and other exercise etc i can keep my body healthy nice and, uh, have only very little uh, uh, dependence on other medications and other hospital and actually i am very confident about my health these days and mm -hmm. i am telling the same thing sharing the same thing to others also so mm -hmm. they also have so much fear with that is created by, uh, uh, by these uh, hospital um, etc uh, drug manufacturers etc so i tell them uh, this is the truth so it is a body is a self organized unit and you need not worry about if once you keep keep it well just uh, yes. you you are responsibility so uh, this is uh, give me a lot of relief madam very nice very nice Nice sharing. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Good morning, Didi. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, re regarding sensation through the body. Mm hmm. This is under progress, Didi. I am. I use most of the sensation with understanding, seeing mm -hmm. that all units are submerged in space and each unit is coexisting with. other as per the self regulation so hence utilizing the sensation rightly in line with is realization my focus is to fulfill the basic aspiration of myself with uh, with a program to help the harmony of the other two so this is what uh, is with respect to the sensation of the body my thoughts a yeah. lot of words here yeah i have written this that's the reason why i was uh, just whatever i have i am able to see i had just written them but i don't know whether i had written rightly no 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 are you able to see or these are your thoughts this i i am able to see this i am able to see very clearly how it is yeah you see when you say my aspiration and then you say you know like you you almost said that i am as you as separate from the self it came across like that so let us see you know try to observe directly what it is actually is it like this for me for instance if i am seeing things who am i i am the self the self is not something separate no the aspiration of the self is not separate from me i am the one who is aspiring those kind of um, nuances no those kind of uh, details if we are uh, working more with the thoughts we will get entangled in the thoughts then we compare things we justify things we analyze things but beyond that when we are trying to observe directly then we can see it for ourselves we can know it hmm. to say that i i realize and i can see the submergence of the units in space that is a very big statement hmm. um, i think what whatever that i just felt i had just written yesterday night only because i thought i should share so that it will help other to experience also so in continuation uh, with uh, my thoughts on uh, physical facilities which i already have is in line with understanding that my body harmony is to be maintained and use rightly to nurture protect and rightly utilize mm -hmm. i'm able to see that uh, i share and give the available physical facilities to my relatives under uh, under the prosperity understanding the prosperity within and still it is at the level of the material didi that not at the level of money uh, as i am not been able to still calculate the required physical facilities mm -hmm. 
with respect to money yeah my health of my body is to take care of myself and able to read required sensations uh, which help to maintain the body in harmony and and able to see clearly that i can be i can use the body to produce labor and and use it for expressing the feelings of the self to the others other human beings uh, sometimes only i can use it for expressing the feelings of the self or i can express these feelings i need yeah i can express uh, the feelings of the self uh, to the other human beings what do you mean by i can express the feelings of the self i am only that self no yes this is what i am saying it's fine with yeah fine yeah let's not see lot of times we are looking at things from the outside so we are seeing ourselves as something else and the self as something else so i when i say i i am referring to the self Yeah. Uh, is it making sense what I'm saying? Yes, yes, clearly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only, only during the write-up, I believe I had, I had added, that, added those uh, adjectives there, here, and there. The, ah, and no, that's what I'm saying. See, our what, what is really driving our thoughts? Yeah. That is what comes out. Yeah. That, that's clear. Yeah. Uh, so, rather than. Uh, you know preparing to say something just see how it is flowing for you yeah take yeah. some real life examples and see yes, yes that's there yeah before i just started to share i just thought that uh, the examples could really help rather than this uh, statements yeah correct right so finally so, i'll just close up really by just one more sentence and yeah. the purpose of my being uh, is to live at all four levels in line with the right understanding which will lead to the human society and to develop the self with is which is not cyclic so that's what is my perception right now but still uh, i have to explore and as you said uh, th- those things naturally which is connecting and flowing in uh, has to be reflected so that will be there the next one yeah yeah thank you okay. thank you thank you um i think we can go forward so that we can um, yeah so if you look at now when we talk of selecting tasting when we are looking at within and seeing how we select and taste we spoke of how we select and taste when we, we are not being guided by the higher activities but as we awaken to the higher activities or even if we haven't awakened to the higher activities yet but as we keep referring to the natural acceptance slowly we find our focus is shifting rather than selecting and tasting on the basis of say sensation now our selecting and tasting is based on the goal on the basis of the human goal it is on the basis of value so what does that mean now our sensations become goal and value guided so here you know my human goal is what my purpose is what to understand understand this entire existence the way it is to be able to awaken to the highest activity within me of realization and to live in that pattern of coexistence that is there that i see in the entire existence so i become a part of it i am also playing my role in that that is one thing when i talk of value what is value i am able to see my relationship with every other unit and on the basis of that 
I do justice in all my relationships. Now this becomes the guide to my selecting and tasting. So when I sort of um, read the sensations through the sense organs of the body, now I use the senses in a different manner. I don't use the senses just to get pleasure out of it for the taste, like some of you shared about you know, health of the body and so on. Now you use that sensation with that purpose of is it going to nurture the body, protect the body and so on. You use the sensation for you know, looking at justice in the relationship. So, like we gave the example of the mother, when I see my relatedness with another, then I am willing to even give up you know, that, um, you know, uh, that sensation of pleasure so that I can take care of the other. So for a mother, she feeds the child first, then she thinks of herself. And she may not have sufficient, still her focus is on the child first because she can see the relationship. So there, you know, sensation takes a back seat. What becomes important is the relationship, the justice in the relationship, the value, you know, the feeling, that feeling of affection, of care of the mother for her child. So similarly, when we see our relationship with others, then that becomes the, the feeling at the base of the relationship, that becomes the guiding force for the sensation, rather than just using the sensation for pleasure. So all of this um, can happen once we awaken to the higher activities. So you have these two, what we said, goal-based and value-based. When we are saying goal-based, you are including, you know, your goal as a human being. Coexistence, the realization, awakening to the highest activity of realization and seeing the coexistence. And also authenticating that human goal by being able to see the harmony and trying to be in harmony with every other unit. First of all, being in harmony myself, being in harmony with the body, being in harmony in the family, being in harmony in the society and with nature. So all of this is, you know, um, somewhere that is the driving force. And like we said, value-based, you can think of it as based on the relationship. So that we are ensuring the values in the relationship, fulfilling the, the values in the relationship, so that the relationship is mutually fulfilling, both sides. Yes. Um, we can go to the next slide. If there are any questions, we can take questions. Otherwise, we'll move forward. Yeah. So essentially, same thing we are saying here that if we are talking of selecting on the basis of the human goal, So within yourself, when there is awakening, your focus becomes harmony within the self. With that harmony within the self, seeing the harmony in the other units, being in line with that harmony, 
that becomes the driving force and my um, my focus shifts from my pleasure my um, fulfillment alone to fulfillment of every other unit that i am connected with with the entire nature when we participate in the larger order within myself you know i work for the right understanding i am working for resolution within myself having the right feeling within myself and i am also you know seeing my prosperity but not my prosperity alone i am trying to see how i can share with others work for prosperity in every family so that ultimately we can have those goals achieved fearlessness trust in society and coexistence in existence so all this becomes my focus that is what drives my thoughts that is what drives my desires my thoughts my expectations and ultimately that becomes the guide to my selecting tasting also the expectation next slide So this is saying the same thing. We just this is just showing the self, the the diagram of the self that you are very familiar with, with awakening to the higher activities, and then those guiding the lower activities, the desires, the thoughts, the expectations. Ultimately, then it reflects. in my behavior and work outside in my participation in the larger order outside so if you look at it next slide okay so if you look at it now with all of this um you know all the sense organs i am using that with this higher purpose in view now all the sense organs that i you know taste the sensation from what i see what i hear what i smell what i taste always at the back the purpose the value the relationship the harmony all this is in the background and with that base i make selections outside yeah next slide can go forward yeah so now you can see how the higher activities when we awaking to them they are kind of observing the lower activities they are also evaluating the lower activities and they are inspiring the lower activities they means it is within me i am only doing it but i have awakened to these activities then so in every act in every thought in every desire this becomes my driving force the higher activities so i through these higher activities i observe the lower activities i evaluate the lower activities and that becomes the inspiration for all my lower activities next slide and ultimately on the one hand i am working for awakening to these higher activities for the realization within 
and on the other end i am in my expression trying to bring it in my living so only when it happens within first only when i see it within myself will i be able to bring it in my expression outside with definiteness so we have to work for both if i am just working for awakening inside and i am you know separating myself from the others because i think i need time i have to find out i have to you will find that it is much slower that way if we are you know being in that state of um interaction with the others because you can't really go away and sit somewhere you need to interact you need to be you know living your life so you have uh, interactions with others family members colleagues so many people we also have interaction with nature you have to work with nature you have to provide for the family or whatever and we can see that in the larger order also our participation is required when we see the pattern in existence and we see how every unit is participating with every other unit in harmony with definiteness then that becomes my guide so even if i have not seen it all the way even if i have not reached the point of realization within the glimpse of that is very clearly visible to me in the form of the natural acceptance if if i refer to it so when i refer to the natural acceptance i see that i have a natural acceptance for relationship for harmony for coexistence and that becomes my guiding force so on the one hand i am referring to the natural acceptance again and again and again and working towards awakening to the higher activities but at the same time i am also working for the outside so i am trying to have this natural acceptance guide my lower activities and i am trying to bring it in my behavior with other human beings keeping the focus as the relationship with you know values so that there can be mutual happiness in my relationships working with nature seeing my relationship with nature working for mutual prosperity and participating in the larger order with that purpose very much in view of fulfillment of the human goal so both ends are going on and we can do this simultaneously while working for realization within we can also work on the expression outside and as we are able to see more and more as we are able to awaken to the higher activities more and more the expression outside will become more and more definite so this is what we had to share for today i think you can uh, put the homework slide yeah so we are talking about you know study your desire over a day and find out what percentage of it is coming from preconditioning sensation and natural acceptance study your thought over a day and find out what percentage is based on coexistence on harmony on relationship sensation and preconditioning this may seem like a lot of things but we have been doing this with smaller examples so now you can try to see this for yourself and see if your living is centered around which activity is it mostly selecting tasting analyzing comparing imaging contemplation determination understanding or authentication realization so it will just give an idea of where we are and what we need to work for so we'll stop here now i'll put this in the group also